Hi. So here we are, we're out in the great outdoors and we're going to try and keep ourselves found. One of your, your biggest assets is your observation skills. So using your eyes and looking around and seeing where you are and following along with your location. So as you walk up this valley, you can see there's a mountain on the left and a hill on the right, mountains in front of you. All of those things are good information to allow you to keep a handle on where you are at any one time. But there's sometimes there's some occasions where you need some more information. You need, you need to be able to figure out where you are. And that's where, of course, using the two simplest tools at your disposal, the map and the compass, become part of your arsenal. So we're gonna talk about how you can use the map and the compass in situ, in the outdoors, to figure out where you are, where you've come from, and where you want to be going to. So in preparation for being out here in the Bragg Creek area, I brought along the map of the area. In this case, it's a gem trek, one to 50,000 scale Bragg Creek and Sheep Valley map. And I also brought along a compass. I also checked to see what the current declination is for this area and found out from the internet that it's 14 and a half degrees to the east. So I pre-put that into my declination adjust compass. If you do not have such a compass and you have just a simple compass like this one, you will be manually adding or subtracting 14 and a half degrees east declination from the compass when you use it in conjunction with the map and using it in the field. We'll get more into that in a bit. The map is a wonderful tool, but it needs to be oriented to your surroundings to actually really get the full effect and the use out of it. So let's just go through how you orient it to your surroundings. So once we got the map on the ground, now we need to get it into orientation with our surroundings. And the easiest way to do that is with your compass. So we're going to take our compass and we're going to line up the orienting lines on the inside of the housing of the compass with the north-south grid lines on the map, making sure that the, the north uh, part of the compass, the north arrow, is at the top of the map. Okay. We're also going to dial the compass so that 360 or 0 is at the reed bearing here notch. Okay, then we're going to take the compass, we're going to place it on the map so that those north-south grid lines and those orienting lines line up. And then we're going to take the entire map and we're going to turn it until the north needle inside the housing lines up with the orienting uh, arrow inside the housing, the red uh, orienting arrow. And once that has happened, we would consider that the red is in the shed and the map is oriented. We'll keep going here. And at this point, the map is oriented to magnetic north, as you can see here. Okay, now let's talk about orienting the map with a non-declination adjusted compass. So we're going to take this simple compass, we're going to dial the, the dial until north is at the top at the direction of travel arrow or read bearing here hash mark. And then again we're going to take the orienting lines and we're going to line them up with the north-south grid lines making sure that north is to the top of the map. So you can see the angle that we've created 
is the same as the angle in the declination uh, indicator on the map. So we have uh, 14 and a half degrees there and 14 and a half degrees here. And it's towards the east, towards the east. Therefore, 14 and a half declination easterly. Okay, so we know that we are just to the west of the parking lot at the Ford Creek Trailhead. We can now figure out from our location and from a, a map that is oriented that um, we can plan it to actually figure out where we're going next, um, where the trail goes, and we can also use it to pick out features. So for example, we may want to figure out what this mountain or the end of Nahahi Ridge is in the field. Which one is it? And so we can draw a straight line from where we are on the map through the peak that we're interested in or the landmark we're interested in and then keep going in a straight line in reality until you figure out that the peak is the one up there just to the left of the nice fluffy cloud, the north end of Nahahi Ridge.